If you want to know how you can highlight your mouse pointer and highlight your screen during screen sharing with tools like this, uh, and then also control this all from your stream deck if you've got one, then this video is for you. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech, my name's Alec and today we're going to be talking all about how I uh, do the annotations basically on my screen or highlight my cursor when I'm doing screen sharing in these videos. It's something that I've had a few questions about just over the uh, last few days so I thought I'd just give you a quick overview of exactly how I do it, the app that I use and also how I've integrated this with my Stream Deck. So if I just come over to my desktop for one second here we go. It is this simple app that is called ProMouse. And in fact, this is a good way to actually highlight what it does. You can see obviously that my mouse cursor is moving around on the screen. It's got that sort of blue halo, as they call it, around it. And then if I were to click on the screen, you'll see that that is indicated by those uh, sort of circle around it, sort of decreasing in, slice, uh, in size slightly. The other thing that you can do is you can actually magnify an area of the screen. So I could, for example, hover over here and say, the price of it is $3.99 and a great first name, by the way, for the developer, Alex Summers. And uh, yeah, so this is where you can get it from the App Store. App Store. I'll leave a, a link in the description down below as well. And the other thing that you can do, which is quite handy, is you can also do what they call a spotlight. So it just really makes it clear what you are trying to uh, highlight on the screen. It's got a few other features as well, such as you can draw with it. So you could draw an arrow. So I could really point out a uh, point that I wanted to make with it. Uh, the other thing that you can do as well is draw different shapes and or you could do freehand tools, things like that. Now, there is better ways to do on screen uh, annotations and things like that. And I'll be doing a whole other video all about how you can do uh, sort of pr proper telestrating <laughs> using an Apple Pencil and an iPad to actually draw over the top of your uh, screen. But for just simple applications, uh, this is quite a good little uh, little feature that it's got. It's great for in Zoom meetings as well, uh, depending on the type of work you're doing. If you have to share your screen, it's handy to be able to sometimes just mark up some little things on the uh, on the screen. So that's really the reason why I bought it in the first place was for, uh, for, for using during meetings, but it's certainly come in handy for some of these videos as well. So let me show you uh, what it actually looks like. In fact, if I just close this window, as I say, I'll put a link down into the description for the actual uh, uh, app itself, but it just sits up here in the menu bar. So again, the feature is coming in handy, this little uh, magnifying glass, and it just sits up there with a little mouse pointer icon. So I'll come down to the uh, open mouse, uh, pro mouse preferences, and this is what it looks like. So we've got uh, a number of different panels here, settings, so you can have it to start at login. Uh, remember the on off state, so there's different toggles for whether various different things are active or not. You can remember those. Uh, you can have it so that this little blue halo uh, that I've got around the mouse uh, hides after you're inactive. So you could have it so that if I just leave the mouse still for a while, it'll just disappear. I tend to leave mine so that it's on all the time. Uh, you can also have it the same with drawing. So if you want your annotations to disappear off the screen automatically, you can toggle that on and off here. You can also have it play a sound when you're clicking just to be absolutely clear when you are clicking on something. And you can also have it uh, show local notifications. That's specifically about uh, sort of local notifications relating to the app. So I just have that one off. So the next uh, button along here is this shortcuts one, but actually we'll come to that afterwards because that's where we're going to set our shortcuts to activate the actual functions. But first, let's go and have a look at those functions. So we've got the mouse halo and you can see here, you can change the color of it. You can change the size of it. So you can see that I'm changing it now. If I make it larger, then it's obviously much larger on the screen. You can change the thickness of the border. And then you can also change whether it's a solid dot line or dotted line. So that should be all fairly straightforward and self-explanatory. The next one we've got is the zoom function. So again, you can change actually how much it zooms in and out. So we can make it extra large if you want. Uh, and then the zoom quality will be just changing. Obviously, you can see that that's a little bit more grainy if I have the uh, normal quality or nominal quality as opposed to best. It just looks a little bit crisper on screen, basically. Next, we've got the spotlight. And again, you can change the size of it. So we could make that much uh, bigger. And then also, I'm uh, sorry, I'm demoing the magnifying glass. There you go. That's the spotlight. That's the size of it. And if I change it to smaller, 
make it like that. And we can also change the actual background color that it's going to put on the rest of the screen. So if I do it like that, it'll be a bit harsh that one, but <laughs> a bit of a red color there. Uh, so yeah, you can change basically the color of the background and you've got obviously all of the control that you would have in a uh, normal Apple color picker wheel. So there you go. And then also the, uh, the opacity as well. So we can change that to be completely solid color or we can change it to be uh, more uh, opaque uh, and or more transparent rather. So that is the spotlight tool. So those are fairly simple and easy to set up and get them looking the way you want them. And then the next one is the uh, drawing tools. Uh, and so here again, you've got the, uh, so if I draw on the screen, you can see the color of the pen there. And so we can change the line thickness uh, if I just demonstrate that, there we go. We've got a bit of a thicker line there. And once again, you can do the um, uh, change the color of that as well. The clear function. So there is a, a shortcut, which I'll come to, which actually clears what's on the screen. And so you can set that to either clear all of the drawings or just the last one. So if you have it set like this, then what you could do is if I do a drawing here and one over here, then I can clear them sort of one by one instead of just all at once. So let's put that back to uh, clear all drawings. And so then next we come to the uh, shortcuts. This is where we're going to set up like our hotkeys basically. And there are a range of different hotkeys. So we've got uh, one that we use for um, uh, the zoom. So here we've got function and option is the shortcut that I've got for it. And then you can actually toggle it on and off as well so that it's, it's completely deactive. Active. I just leave it on all the time because I only ever activate it when I use the hotkey anyway. Same goes for the spotlight. I've got a shortcut for that one. Then we've got the uh, drawing shortcut. So that's to draw on the screen. And then we've got the uh, line circle arrow. So I don't know if I showed you all of these, but here we go. We've got an arrow there. You can do a square uh, or you can do a circle uh, and all different shapes that we've got there. And so you activate these all from in here, but then also you can actually turn the drawing on and off so that if you don't want to accidentally uh, tap on a command key, for example, or another key, and then it start drawing, then that's where you would toggle this on and off here with this uh, one that I've set as function plus shift. Then finally, there's also the actual halo itself. Uh, so there is the shortcut to turn that on and off. So you can activate all of these from the uh, uh, keyboard shortcuts themselves. But obviously, <laughs> me being me with uh, Stream Deck, I have uh, made a set of icons for this. So what I'll do now is I'll just flick over to my Stream Deck and show you. In fact, what I thought we'd do is just set up an entirely new set of uh, icons. So I'm going to bring my uh, Stream Deck panel over here and I'll move these out of the way. Although it'd be good to actually keep these where we can refer to them. So let me just try and shrink this down a little bit. Uh, now, incidentally, I've got a Stream Deck XL on my desk, which is my uh, straight main Stream Deck that I, that I use. Uh, but also for other applications, sometimes I just use a, a Stream Deck app on the uh, phone. So if you weren't aware, you can actually get Stream Deck for the, the mobile and it's available there on a subscription basis. I think it's around $3 a month if you just want the uh, to use it as an app on your phone. Uh, but there is a free trial as well. So if you don't already have Stream Deck, then that is a great way to actually go in and, and try that. So I'll leave a link in the description as well to the, uh, the application on the iOS App Store as well for that. So what I thought we'd do is just actually build out this uh, sort of set of icons or set of actions rather to control our uh, Pro Mouse. And uh, yeah, I've also made an icon pack for it as well. The icon pack is available in the store on my website, so I'll leave a link to that as well. But basically, if you go over to my website, then you'll see there's a little link at the top that just says uh, store. And so if you click on that, then you'll find there I've got various different icon packs and things like that that you can uh, buy. So this will be in there just a couple of dollars. It's just 10, uh, 10 icons. So I'll make that available there. Take one tech dot IO. And then if you want to go direct, it's slash store. And uh, yeah, that's also the place. If you want ever want to get in touch, then there's a contact form on my website as well. But anyway, back to the demonstration. And so, yeah, what we're going to do is um, I'm, a, I'm going to assume a basic knowledge of Stream Deck if you're watching this part. But if not, then I'll be leaving a link to a, a sort of full overview of Stream Deck that I'll be uh, doing shortly. So I'll leave a link to that uh, video in the top corner and in the description as well. I'm stumbling over my words today. <laughs> so anyway, what we're going to do is we want to add these hotkeys 
that we've got for the uh, shortcuts for the pro mouse we're going to add those hotkeys into our stream deck and then we're going to add our icons onto it afterwards so let me just move the icons out of the way for a moment so that we can see exactly what we're doing and we are going to have basically uh, 10 functions that we're going to add into this uh, stream deck and they're basically all hotkeys actually uh, although one of them is a little bit different and i'll sure tell you why shortly but first of all let me add in a uh, nine hotkeys so i'll save you the bother of watching this there we go you're back well i've added nine in and those are basically all hotkey actions and the way they work is that you just simply click into the uh, hotkey uh, box down here in stream deck and you just apply whatever hotkey it is that you want to add to that action now i've left one blank and that is because for the one to actually activate the halo, I've done something a little bit different and I use this trick quite a lot in my stream deck actually, which is um, if you were going to activate this and let's just say for some reason your pro mouse was not already active or not already open, then obviously these actions wouldn't actually do anything. So the very first time that you activate it, what I do is I use a uh, multi-action so I click in here and do create multi-action and that allows us to add, add multiple different actions into one single button. And then I go and edit this multi-action. And the first thing I set it to do is actually open an app. So this is one of the functions that we've got in here. You can add open app. So I'll just drag that one in and then I'm going to do the hotkey. And the reason I do that is because if the app isn't open, then this will actually open the pro mouse app. And if it is open, then it doesn't make any difference anyway. It would just sort of switch to it. But it's just a good little thing to do in case you ever actually forget to have it activated. And then you end up trying to give a demonstration and you've got to think about opening the app and all those sorts of things. You can obviously have it running in your menu bar as a default and set it to open on startup. But uh, yeah, this way it just uh, makes sure that it is open. So yeah, if I just drag this across, then you will see what I'm doing opened on another monitor obviously so you just do a search for the uh, app so if i type in pro mouse here it should come up there we go it's down there somewhere so i'm going to click on that one and click open so now we've got the first action here is to open pro mouse and then what we want to do is come over to our shortcuts and if you keep these open it will make this whole process very simple so the mouse halo on and off is function plus command so i just come over to this next one down this hotkey come down to the uh, click to assign hotkey. And if we just tap the function and command, it adds that in as the hotkey. So now if I uh, just come back out of this multi-action and so it's been saved, uh, what we might want to do is just add a name onto it. So it will be uh, clear, but if I just put that, call that one halo, uh, obviously we are going to replace these with our icons, but I do tend to get into the habit of just at least adding a title in so that if you are ever looking through them, it is clear which one you are looking at, but then we can actually toggle this one off anyway, toggle the title off rather, just come into here. This is where you could change the font and the color of the writing. So the writing is obviously uh, appearing on this button here, but we want to replace this with a nice new icon. So I'll just click this one to, so that the uh, title is no longer being shown. And then what I could do actually is just right now, I can drag this uh, palette over of my, or folder rather, over of my icons. And so this is the one that we're using for our halo icon. So if I just drag this one over and just drop it on here now, there you go, we've got our nice pretty first icon. And hopefully if I actually tap on it, then you'll see that the uh, halo has disappeared from my mouse. If I tap on it again, it should come back again. So there we go, that one is working. All the rest are pretty straightforward really because all we're going to do is we're going to go down that list of shortcuts and we're going to assign those in here. So I'll just do a couple of them and then I'll skip on so that you don't have to watch me do them all. But yeah, if I click on here, then let's say that this one would be our uh, zoom feature, for example. So here the zoom shortcut is function plus option. So I'll click in here and I'll just press uh, function option. There we go. That one's popped in and let's just title that one as well. So we know what it is. So I'll type title that one as zoom. And then let's uh, turn off the title from the button again. And then I'll grab my uh, icon for that one. So I'll drag this one over. Whoops. I'll drag it onto the wrong place. I've been using this stream deck for quite a while, but I still keep trying to actually drag the icon and drop it over the button area itself, whereas you have to actually do it down here. 
I can't help but think that would be quite nice if you could just drop it straight onto the actual uh, board r rather of where the uh, the buttons are but never mind I always <laughs> still catch myself out doing that so yeah this is where you need to drop it so let me just do one more as well we'll go on to this one so let's say that this one is going to be the uh, spotlight feature so let me just come and see what the shortcut was for that you can change all of these to be whatever shortcuts you want uh, so that spotlight I've got as function and control so I'll click on here and then do function and control like that oops clicking in the wrong place <laughs> don't know what's happened to me today I obviously haven't had enough coffee there we go function and control I'll click in there that's better so we've got that one now and if I drag the uh, spotlight over and I'm going to drag it to the right place this time let's drag that into there having to think about that one and then yeah let me just change this to um, spotlight There we go, and I'll take that title off the button because it's clear from the icon exactly what it is. So I'll just pause for a second and I'll skip ahead and I'll do all of the other ones so that you can see what it will look like when it's all finished. Well, there we go. I've got all of those buttons in now. So now we've got the one for the halo. We've also got the zoom one. We have a spotlight one. We've got the one that we can actually toggle on and off the drawing tools. And then we've got our little freehand tool here. I've just toggled off my drawing tool. So that might be why <laughs> those aren't working. So here we go. We've got our little drawing tool there. I've got the eraser below it, which will clear all those drawings off. We've got our circle, our square, our uh, arrow just down here. And uh, yeah, so that is how you can do all of that with uh, Stream Deck. And so yet yeah, those icons are available on the website, takeonetech.io slash store. And uh, yet, yeah, like I said, I'll leave a link to the actual Halo app in there as well. Just a bit of a short one then today. I hope you found that useful. If you did, then don't forget to go down and hit that like and subscribe button and leave any uh, comments that you've got down there, any requests as well down there for videos as this was sort of a uh, viewer request. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in another video. And until then, have an absolutely wonderful day and I'll leave a link to some other videos over here on the right hand side. See you again soon.